The roundup of activists has also netted the son of U.S. Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood, further fuel in tension between Cairo and Washington. Director for the Washington-based International Republican Institute, he was among a group of Americans banned from leaving the country, but some believe his arrest in particular was part of a wider political game. He was chosen simply because he is the son of the Minister of Transport. Um, I don't think that he has any leading role in anything at all. So this is a game. America, whose military aid to Egypt reaches $1.3 billion annually, has been very serious, though. It's been quick to condemn Scarf, warning the days of blank checks are over. Oh, they condemned Mubarak tons of times, but at the end of the day, the aid continued on flowing, the diplomatic support also continued on flowing. We don't buy at all Washington's so-called support for democracy here in the Middle East. Washington wants to stabilize the situation as much as possible in order to guarantee its interests. They don't care about democracy.